Hi, welcome to the Soil Inventory Talk Show. My name is Grace Roiro, a farmer and an agronomist. I'm so glad that you had time and chance to be with me here today. So I'm at the field with James and Anne. Anne. Hi, James. Hi, James. Hello. Uh, today we are here. We are back at this field. We were here a few weeks ago and this time round we come to check uh, the prevalence of wheat. Check whether it's time to do herbicide spray. And what we have found, we are amazed by the results. The maize is doing great. Uh, just a reminder, this is a C. This is a CA farm. So no disc plow was put here. It was just a ripper. Then we and then we planted. So the maize is doing quite well uh, compared to last time. Uh, after after doing the herbicide spray, we, we we also plan to supplement with some foliar sprays just to make it greener and more vibrant and more vigorous. So James explaining what we are doing here at the field, I would want him to clarify a few things. He's an expert in CA, as he says, that's conservation agriculture. And I'll allow him to say a few things about conservation agriculture. Yeah, James, hi. So what are the benefits of conservation agriculture? Uh, conservation agriculture, I can start by first of all explaining what are the principles of conservation agriculture. And the first and the most important principle is the principle of minimum tillage or minimum soil disturbance. That is the most fundamental principle. Uh, so that means that we will only disturb the soil for the purposes of placing the seed and the fertilizer. So the soil is only disturbed where we plant. So in this field, that's what happened. We only opened up the soil where now we planted the maize. And the benefits are amazing when it comes to minimum tillage because much of the water that was, uh, that was underneath the soil was still retained. So when we planted, the, the soil still had some moisture. After we planted, now that the soil is loose, where now we are, we are planting our maize, we find that there's a lot of water percolation in that particular uh, line because the hard pan has already been broken. So a lot of water is stored in the soil and this is and this soil water is what is used to maintain or, or to sustain the crop during the during now the dry weather. So the maize is doing quite well. Uh, the second principle uh, we are going to learn as we go but it's what we call crop residue retention. We plan that next year God willing we do crop residue retention in these fields. After we harvest our maize, we are not going to throw away the, the trash or, or the residue. Uh, we are not going to throw it away, neither are we going to burn. Burning is even bad, it's even worse. Uh, we are neither going to give it all to the cows. We are going to retain the residue so that we can retain as much water as possible in this soil for the sake of next season. So the other also important uh, principles of uh, principle of conservation agriculture is crop rotation so next next season god willing we might not do maize we will do a different crop pre uh, preferably a leguminous crop so that's what we intend to do so as to fully uh, encompass the three principles of conservation agriculture and we are also encouraging farmers to do plant trees we are we are actually planning to plant trees in this area so that we may fully be conservation farmers uh, which also include uh, includes agroforestry are the farmers receptive in this area james this being the first year we can say there has been some progress uh, some several acres were done in this area and for us to increase uh, that number we actually plan to hold a field here. That's why we are really looking at this farm so that we may call farmers to come and see the benefits of CA as the crop progresses. So if I ask, maybe as a farmer, is the production of the CA better than that of the other way, the way we plow by maybe disturbing the soil a lot now that you have said CA is minimum disturbance of the soil? Are the yields different? Ah, yeah. So uh, when when we when we talk of conservation agriculture, what we are aiming is to is reducing cost of production, vis-a-vis uh, -vis also increasing the outputs. Now, now when you have a bigger output and you've reduced your cost of production, you find that there's a profit margin in between. Compared
fair to a, to a farmer who is well doing, who will use the much amount of fertilizer that he can, the much amount of uh, whatever he I mean, inputs that he can, even if he gets a good output, uh, when you subtract from the cost of production, the margin is little. So CA is actually promoting, uh, uh, I mean, uh, very low cost of production, given that you will only require very few inputs for you to achieve a higher output. I can't give, I mean, a specific figure of what CA will give, uh, talking about maize. Uh, but what I can tell you is that you cannot harvest as you've been harvesting before from the other seasons once you do see it. There's a significant difference from you, I mean, uh, uh, when you disc plow and when you do CA using the replants. Okay, thank you, James. So on the other side, would I ask now that CA is minimum disturbance of the soil, that means we're using a lot of chemicals, right? Not right at all. Uh -huh. uh, when it comes to weed control, uh, there are several ways we can control weed in CA. Well, first and foremost, if you if we had residue in this farm, we wouldn't have the challenge. Uh, yeah, we, we wouldn't have the challenge of weeds now that the weeds will be smoothed by the presence of the the residue. But now that we don't have, we have other options. We can use. We can we can uh, we can do what we call shallow weeding using the chaka jembe or a shallow weeder you just scratch on top as you cut the roots of the weeds and they dry up now we don't disturb the soil uh, beneath and that also helps us to retain the water secondly we can also use herbicides you just need to know when to use the herbicides and how to use the herbicides while still uh, taking care of yourself uh, putting on or wearing the PPEs so CA is not herbicide CA is not chemicals as people think CA can also be done as in you 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 can control the weeds in other ways it's not only herbicides but herbicides all, always gives the best or I mean, the, the ultimate control of weeds. so can i say uh, that we we can do organic farming using ca is that possible that may not be true uh ca is neither pro, uh, pro organic or anti mm -hmm. organic in fact, the best results are achieved when you take care of the soil and you are still using inorganic fertilizers. So you, you, you can actually combine, but what happens in the future, the reliance uh, in inorganic inputs reduces because your soil gets better and better season after season. So if it's about using fertilizer, your soil gets better and better. And so uh, the overdependence to fertilizers also reduces. Thank you, James catch up on this discussion and more here till next time remember to stay blessed and productive bye bye